Hello, sorry if you're expecting Lady Jackie. We're her ladies in waiting. Unfortunately, she couldn't be here today, so we're here instead. We've just been looking through this Bible and remembering what we've already learned about Jesus this week. What can you remember? On Monday, we learned about Jesus being born. God sent an angel to tell the shepherds that the baby would be their saviour. The shepherds were very happy to go and meet him. Yesterday, we heard about the man who couldn't walk. Jesus showed that he had God's special power to be able to make him better and also was able to forgive him for his sin, which stopped him from being friends with God. In today's story, Jesus did another really amazing thing, didn't he? There were 5,000 people gathered together listening to him and they started to get really hungry. The disciples didn't know where they would get enough food for everyone and they told Jesus that he should send the people away as the only food they had was five loaves of bread and two small fish that a boy had brought. But Jesus wasn't worried. He got everyone to sit down and then he took the two fish and five loaves of bread from the boy and thanked God for them. Jesus' friends helped to give out the food. There was enough for everyone. And after everyone had eaten what they wanted and gone home, they collected up 12 baskets of leftovers. That's even more food than they'd started off with. I've never met anyone who can do that. Have you? No, it shows that Jesus has special power over the world that God made and everything in it. These special powers show us that Jesus is God. Only God has that much power over the world. Soon afterwards, when Jesus was just with his friends, they told him that they believed he was the Christ. That was the name for the special king that God had promised to send. They thought this because of the wonderful things that they had seen Jesus do. They were right. On Monday, we heard the angels tell the shepherds that Jesus was the Christ. And now his friends have realised that too. But then Jesus told them about some things that were going to happen to him. He said that some of the people in charge would have him killed. This was not what his friends expected for God's special king, but it was part of God's plan for Jesus to be our saviour. Tomorrow, we'll find out how his plan worked. Jesus also said that three days after being killed, he would come alive again. That's amazing. We'll have to keep watching to find out how that happened.